at the point where I made up my plan, you know, in my mind, my plan, what my plan was going to be, how I'm going to walk around the building, how I'm going to um, act as if I'm a patient now, you know, just to get in to see Nene. That was my mentality. By any means necessary, I'm going to get inside this hospital. Especially when your wife sends you text saying she's scared, she's scared. What's going on today? It's your boy Trey and Where's she at? Anyway, y'all, I'm riding solo today, but before I get into my story, please guys make sure you like, subscribe, and comment because you know she loves to talk. You know she loves to talk. And make sure you guys check out the Epic Empire. Everybody link will be in the description box. B Low. Today, we taking it back to, you know, your college days or just getting out of school. We just doing a Pizza Hut mukbang. Let me show y'all this is what we got here today. I'm opening up real slow like this. Might as well get a thumbnail out of it. I'm going to turn to the side. Yep, yep, yeah. But before we get started, y'all know ain't nothing changed. Y'all know ain't nothing changed. <laughs> y'all want me to pray? Huh? Let us pray. Father God, bless this pizza that we're about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Father God, if there's anything harmful to this pizza, please take it away and just save it for somebody else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anyway. She not with me today, but I will be remiss in her honor. The first bite food. Y'all know I dip it in this ranch. I want to be washed out. Let me get it. Oh, yeah, that is. Come on in now. Yes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And. Shout out to DJH Painting. Came by and pressure washed the house. You know, we try to stay in a routine. I think so. If you need your house to be pressure washed, check out my guy, DJH. Now, I know y'all sitting here wondering where's Nene? Well, Nene, well, Nene. Well, I gave Nene the day off. But honestly speaking, y'all, my baby's feeling a little bit under the weather, in which I had to take her to the hospital. She's fine, she's okay. Thank God. But I can't say I can't tell y'all this. I'm gonna talk and eat. It's some good genuine people that we have in our life. Of course, you know, Epic Empire came through. Nini alright, Nini okay. I said, yes, yeah, she fine, she fine. But, you know, so I call, I call big little bro Rayshon. So, 
Of course, Prissy said a marvelous prayer. Because at this point, y'all, y'all got to realize when you take someone to the hospital, you can't go in with them. You can't go to the back. You just got to sit there and wait it out. So, now y'all know. Y'all know how your boy is about Nene. So, Chris and Rayshon, you know, they said a, a wonderful prayer. For me, for yeah. love and Nate, you know, they prayed for Nene, of course, they, they love them to Nene, so yeah, be love and Nate, you know, prayed, prayed with us and prayed for us and it was just, you know, it, it, was, it was just a lovely feeling knowing that, you know, you have people that, you know, in time of need, in time of whatever that, hey, I'm going to be here for you regardless of what the situation is. We are here. Cause ain't know me, I was about to lose it. I was literally about to lose it. All the members of Epic Empire, Ayo Trav, getting worried. Chen Lee TV, getting worried. Keep Cam and the fam, talk to Pops. Gave me a word of encouragement. So, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling like, okay, my baby's gonna be fine. Then I got a text from Nini. The text says she was scared. And they got to run some more tests. So of course y'all know at this point, I'm losing, I'm, I'm, I'm really about to lose it. Like I'm sitting in the car I can't go in. I'm getting in the car. I'm backing out the car. I'm getting out the car. Getting in the car. Getting out the car. Walking through the um, parking lot. I see other people going in and, you know, they're not letting, you know, they're just not, they're not letting anyone in, you know, with their loved ones. And it, and it brought me back to this lady I seen, this nurse that went viral and she was talking about how people was you know, getting sick. I Man, I don't think we can say that word so y'all know what I'm talking about. People were saying that, you know, we was getting sick and there's nothing she can do about it. I felt, I don't know, you know when you love someone and you'll do anything for them and, and you just feel helpless? That's how I felt last night. So, I'm sitting in the car, I'm waiting. Mind you, Nene blood pressures skyrocketed. I think it was like 220, 221 over 110, something like that. And I I know Nene and I know she's scared. She's scared of death with a running test. So I'm still I'm sitting in the car, I'm in the car, out the car, I'm you know, I'm I'm like calling, you know, call my mother in law. You know, she, she told me, of course, everything gonna be all right. But she also told me, get my little black self back in that car. <laughs> Cause you know, people walking around, we by the hospital, straight from the hip. So, I get back in the car, and for those of y'all who don't know, I'm a veteran of the United States military. So, my wartime mind kicked in so at this point i'm trying to figure out a way i hate to say it to get in the hospital to look through the window go rescue mine you know what i'm saying because i've been saying this stuff but it's been like you know on tv or that ain't gonna happen you know to me or whatever the case may be so By this time, y'all, I don't lean the car seat all the way back. So now, I'm in wartime mode. In my mind, that's what I felt. You know, from being in uh, you know, the Desert Storm War. So I'm like, 
my, my mentality is telling me I'm fighting against the enemy. That's what my mind is telling me now. How dare you tell me that I can't go in with my wife. So, now I'm going to tell y'all how God works. Okay? This is how God works. I was leaning back in the seat. So, at the point where I made up my plan, you know, in my mind, my plan, what my plan was going to be, how I'm going to walk around the building, how I'm going to um, act as if I'm a patient now, you know, just to get in to see Nene. That was my mentality. By any means necessary, I'm going to get inside this hospital. Especially when your wife sends you text saying she's scared, she's scared. And as a man, as a man, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you want to rescue your woman. So anyway, y'all, I'm leaning back in the seat. So as I'm coming up, I'm bringing the seat back up. The seat comes up. I get to this point, right? I'm just gonna grab my wallet. I get to this point. I got my phone right here. My phone rings, right? I look at the phone, and it's uh, this uh, it's Reva. If y'all don't know Reva, she has her own channel. It's just Reva. Um, some of y'all know her. You know, of course, she got Tina and Terrell, but she's the mother of Queen Naja. And the thing about me and Reva, like we, me, Reva, and Nene, we got this little quirky tight relationship whereas we literally think we still in our twenties sometimes. So when we when we call each other, it's it's like we open up the, the phone line with a game. So as I'm raising up, this is how God works. As I'm raising up my phone rings, I see Reva, right? So I answer the phone, so of course she's playing. She got her eye in the phone like this. Right? And I said Reva, I said, you must have felt me. I said, because Nene is in the hospital. When I tell y'all, this beautiful woman said a prayer for us that, I ain't gonna lie. I cried last night. When I tell you she went into a mode that only if you are a saved person, you will understand. Or a person who knows God, you will understand. She didn't ask any questions. She didn't ask what was wrong. It didn't matter at that point. All she knew was Nene was in the hospital. This woman prayed for me. I know, I know, I know she must pray like. 10, 12 minutes, just straight, just straight praying, straight praying, right? So, me, at this point, my emotions coming out because I'm bawling. I'm bawling because I can't save my wife. I'm bawling because I feel like she need me and I can't be there. And this word that this woman is Praying over me. I got all these emotions going on. To the point where. I was literally. Willing to risk going to jail. Just to get in that hospital. So. Shout out to you. It's just real. But that's not the end part. After we prayed. After she prayed, you know, we talked and like we always do, we just talk about just conversations we've had and how we all used to play and this crazy stuff, right? I'm, I'm not going to tear up, but after we got off that phone, after I hung up the phone, 
nothing but God. Literally, when I hung up the phone, Nene, sorry y'all. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> Call again. But as soon as I hung up that phone, Nene, I I looked, I looked, cause I had I had the uh, first parking space in the hospital, and um, the hospital door maybe was about maybe 20, 25 feet away. When I when I hung up that phone and did like this. And it was dark, of course. I seen my baby coming out that hospital, coming out those hospital doors. When I tell you, that was nothing but God for that woman to call me. I'm sorry, for Reba to call me at that time. At that moment, when I was just at my wits end to like risk it all for somebody to call me who knows us at that time was nothing but God. Nothing but God. My baby walked out that door. She was a little groggy because you know, he was trying to get her blood pressure down. I ran to her. I took up on her arm. Got the, you know, her prescription papers and stuff that she had in her hand. Put it in the car. We rode home. I checked in with, you know, with my mother-in-law, let everybody know that she was okay. Checked in with everybody that knew the situation and, you know, let her know, let them know that Nene was okay. And got home, you know, of course, uh, she was hungry, but she didn't, I didn't want to put too much on her stomach. So I just, you know, just made her some noodles. And a Sprite. And of course she ate it all because I cooked it. <laughs> but. When I tell y'all this stuff out here is real. It's real. Tell somebody you, you love them today. Tell your people that you know you love. Reiterate how you feel about them. So, if y'all still watching this, Nini will be back tomorrow. You know, and of course, you know, I'm like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah. And Nini being Nini, the first thing she said was, I want to come back because we got people who love us. So that's how caring her heart is. She's coming back because she knows that she know how you guys feel about her. And that's just an assessment of the type of person that she is. And that's why I'm happy to call her my wife. So that was my story of how my day went, the different emotions I had yesterday. Because for somebody to tell you, you can't go back there. And just the look on her face, you know, when they were taking her to the back, it's like, because you know, now y'all, when you're going into these hospitals, like, it's not a guarantee that you're going to come back out to, you know, to see uh, your loved ones. It's not a guarantee, y'all. So, my 
my day was hectic, man. It really was. It really was. That pulled every emotion out of me yesterday. Every, I mean, hmm. Y'all can, y'all can, can fathom the way I felt yesterday. So that is the reason why Nene is not here today. She's getting her strength back, and she's okay. So we don't want nobody saying, "Oh, it's blah blah blah." No, it's, it's nothing like that. But the point is that it could have been like that. It could have been like that. Let me slide this. Y'all know how we do. Slide it out. Get a little bit more combo in. Mm. But yeah. Oh, drinking coke. But other than that, man, I'm fine. I'm doing quite well. Uh, yep, yeah, so it's just it's just <sighs> this stuff is serious, y'all. It's is it's really serious. And to to go through it firsthand is really serious and, and so if you if you got somebody in your life, even if you got somebody in your life that uh you don't always see eye to eye, it's 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 really not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Oh another thing too, y'all, we uh I don't know if y'all checked it out yet. Probably by the time this video goes up, you probably been on seen it. But uh Soulful T, of course I'm pretty sure y'all know Soulful T. S O U L F U L T. She has a uh, public service announcement that she's doing with different uh, YouTubers, and uh, we were asked to do that, and we did. So I'm gonna put a little clip in of that uh, right here. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Trey, and it's your girl Nene, and we are YouTube's own Trey. And Nene. Yeah, today, y'all, we want to plead, plead with everyone. Yes. Please stay home. Save a life. And if you're thinking about hitting them streets, remember this. Stop. Stay, stay home. home. Stay, stay safe and let us entertain you. Stop. Stay home. Stay safe and let us entertain you. So we urge you guys, please, stop. Stay home. Stay safe and, and let, let us entertain, entertain you. Straight from Trey and Nene. Peace out. Peace. So how did y'all like that? So yeah, y'all, of course y'all know me and Nene had to sing a little bit. You know how we do. But yeah, that was Soulful T. That's on her channel. So you can see uh, us and a whole bunch of other uh, YouTubers uh, on that video. Excuse me, a video public service announcement saying stay home stay safe and, and let us entertain you and that's what it's all about uh, just 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 let us entertain you for right now whoever your favorite uh, youtuber is man just sit sit at home it's enough of us to give you a whole lot of content you know and, and everybody has different personalities so just pick your favorite youtuber and, and binge watch them and and you know, and, and like like the uh, PSA says, just let us entertain us. Let us do the entertaining for you. So, other than that, man, it's just been a, a, a trying little day yesterday. As you can see, my eyes, I, I probably got this camera super bright, and, and I apologize for that. Normally, you know, Nene sets up everything, but... You know, I gave her a little break, quite naturally. So that's my story time, y'all. And make sure you guys are wearing your mask, wearing your gloves. You know, get your hands sanitized. Make sure you're washing, washing your hands constantly throughout the day. Um, they're finding out different things about uh, this situation. So, you know, just make sure you're doing the right thing. So anyway, y'all, with that being said, man, we ain't want too much. Well, I didn't want too much, you know, 
But make sure you guys like, subscribe, and in the words of my baby, maybe she up. She might be up right now. Nene. Nene. Can you say I know I like to talk? Man, she doing all that. <clears throat> What's all that about? Anyway, man, we ain't want too much, y'all. We just checking in and checking on. And now I am checking out. Peace.